All right, today we're going to make one of my favorite appetizers. This is a guest favorite. It's a Moroccan red lentil and spinach cake with a spicy date sauce. Uh, it is actually oil-free, uh, except for the oil that you might use to cook it in. It comes together in minutes. It's absolutely delicious. You can make it gluten-free as well as I've done here. And it's just full of fiber and protein and all kinds of good nutrients. So, ah, I'm going to sprinkle, put a little bit of the, the date sauce on top. It's a finger food like tapas. You can make them bigger if you like as an entree, but you can pick them up with your fingers, eat them with a fork. Absolutely a party favorite. So I hope you give this a try. Hi. Hello, little boy. Oh, I love you. Love you, love you, love you. All right, I'm just saying hi to Pepper. I raised this little boy in my house. He was about two days old when he arrived, and it was, uh, I think it was February three years ago, and lambs are extremely, extremely fragile. He had a brother named Salt, Salt and Pepper, and unfortunately Salt didn't make it, but we had to bottle feed them every four hours for a while, uh, and now look at him. He's such a big, strong, loving boy. Okay, but right now I'm walking down to the garden to pick some greens because I'm going to make some Moroccan spinach, Moroccan lentil and charred spinach, some kind of green, whatever that's growing down there. We're going to go pick uh, and then we're going to come back. Okay, I'm going to pick some chard, I think, uh, for my Moroccan lentil cakes. So you can use any kind of green. Uh, we just happen to have a ton of chard. So this stuff you can't get rid of uh, and it just keeps growing back forever and ever and ever. I need about 10 ounces. It's kind of hard to tell um, exactly how much I'm picking. I'm just kind of like picking from all over. I don't have, um, I don't have clippers or a pair of scissors right now. But this garden is absolutely lovely. I make salad with all the greens here. I use chard. Uh, this is fava beans. These are fava beans, but I use the fava greens for salad. They're really yummy. I love a salad with all these different greens. I've got some dinosaur kale here. This is a green called wasabina, and it's a little peppery. Absolutely lovely. This goes in salad. I'll just mix maybe 10 different greens or so. Fabulous. Pea sprouts or pea shoots. They, it all goes in there. Mm. Well, you know, I'm all about making beans sexy again, and this is one of the easiest dishes. You will fool your guests. They will not know that there is a legume in it. I'm starting out with red lentils that I've soaked in water uh, for, for, well, you're supposed to soak it overnight or so. I soaked it in hot water for a few hours. I started with a cup and a half, and it has basically filled up the entire bowl. Now, red lentils are extremely soft. They are one of the fastest cooking uh, legumes out there. So I'm going to just drain my lentils. And this whole pancake comes together in a matter of seconds in a food processor. This is so healthy as an appetizer, as a main course. It's wonderful. This is a crowd pleaser. I often serve it uh, as a past appetizer at parties. So I'm going to put my lentils into the food processor now. I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour. Now, it can be any kind of flour. This happens to be gluten-free. I'm going to add some salt. I have a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and I have a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And that's all going to go in there as a seasoning. I'm going to add four cloves of garlic. These are really fat cloves, so maybe three will do. And then just a quarter of a small onion, just roughly chopped. And then I've got some chard that I picked from the garden and I'm going to add, I don't know, about five ounces of it. You can add spinach. Uh, you could add beet tops, very soft kale. So I'm going to add about half of this because I don't want to, I want to chop it up. I don't want it all uh, a pureed mass. Turn this on. And now I've got this sort of green paste. I'm gonna add the rest of the chard. And then I've got some beautiful cilantro that I also picked in the garden. And I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of that. And this is gonna really increase the complexity of the flavors in this dish. And a third of a cup of water. 
and pulse it very briefly. Then I get it, let it go for one more second and then I think it's done. One more second. And now this is the mixture that's going to form these beautiful green pancakes. We're going to cook these on the griddle and then top it with our date sauce. All right, I'm getting my pan hot here. So I'm waiting for this to get piping hot. I'm going to add the olive oil. Get that nice and hot. And then we're going to cook up these little pancakes. They're so yummy. I mean, these have the garlic and the onions in them. So they're savory. And then we have this sort of sweet and spicy topping and it's just perfect. So you're going to keep these pretty small, uh, one or two bite size is the way I like to serve them. Let's see if that oil is hot enough. La di da di da di da. Can you hear that sizzle? That means the pan is ready. And we're just going to leave it undisturbed to cook on one side before we flip it over so it's nice and brown. You can use an ice cream scooper if you like make them perfect shaped, perfectly round, or leave them looking rustic like this. Totally fine, however way you do it. Okay, I'm turning the heat down a little bit. We're just gonna let it cook, do its thing until it's toasty brown. Okay, ooh, yes, I'm gonna flip one over and see. One of these days I gotta get some nonstick pans. But for right now, I got to make do with what I got. Okay, this one looks... I'll let that cook a little bit longer. All right, now we're going to make the really simple date sauce. Uh, so I've got three quarters cup two-thirds cup, somewhere around there, of pitted dates. Make sure that you don't have any pits in them, so truly pitted dates. I'm going to add a quarter cup of lemon juice. So let me just squeeze it out into this little bowl. Okay, throw it in here. I'm going to add a half a cup of water. I'm going to add a few slices of fresh ginger. I'm going to add a dash of cayenne pepper for a little bit more heat again. About a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. A tablespoon of sugar or maple syrup. That is it. So it's a little spicy, it's a little sweet. You can add a dash of salt if you like. We're going to turn it on. Ah, oh, smells so exotic. That's so yummy. It's like a, a party in my mouth. So many different flavors going on. Spicy, sweet, uh, complex, a little bit of heat. I can even taste the vegetables. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. Well, Thanks for watching another episode of The Vegan Good Life with Miyoko. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. There's nothing in there, okay? You don't want anything in there. It's just compost. Let's just compost, okay? Isn't he a cute boy? Aren't you a cute boy? Oh, I love you so much. You're such a good little cuddly boy.